Alright, how's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo once again, coming to you from my art studio to um, create a new painting for you guys, a little new painting demo. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm, 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 ready to, I'm ready to operate. Okay, uh, with my trusted Starbucks. All right, well, here we go. I gotta make a painting of a creek in the desert, okay? Or a desert creek. I hope you guys enjoy it. And here we go. Mix a little bit of color. All right. If you guys hear some uh, noise in the background, I'm sorry. Uh, my lovely wife is helping me package some paintings. We're sending out to some uh, super lucky collectors. I'm very thankful. Thank you so much for supporting my artwork. And I want to thank also all of you who are... Um, Subscribing to my channel. This is awesome. Now, what do you know? Some people like what I do. Awesome. Thank you so much. So. <clears throat> Some of the stuff that uh, that I like to do, as you guys see here, is uh, it's just very direct. I, I don't I don't know if uh, some people call it minimalist. They told me, "Oh, you're you're a colorist. You're a minimalist painter." You know, minimalist. I guess it's uh, for those of you who don't know, you you're you're trying to convey more with with less. You use less to convey more. Something like that. <laughs> and then some people say that I'm a colorist, okay? And a colorist is just a, an artist. It's a, it's a nice fancy word for an artist who, who uh, relies more on color than shape. Or creates uh, values and shape with, uh, with color rather than necessarily uh, earth tones or darks or more uh, colors that are used in realism. I, I, I use a very uh, bright palette. I know some artists out there like to use a, a, a very uh, limited palette and then they mix all their colors from there. Um, that would be a pain in the butt for me. That actually was a pain in the butt for me. I used to do that. I used to just rely on four colors and then mix everything from there those were the days when I when I uh, when I felt like I had more time in the world <laughs> I mean I have a lot of time but but ever since I found out that that, uh, that I can actually create more artwork um, I've been a fan of having my colors ready, you know, out of the two. I don't, I'm not very concerned in, oh, let me fix the right color. I don't know, it's that, it's that idea of overdoing stuff um, that I don't enjoy very much. And, you know, sometimes it creeps up on me. I'm not... I'm gonna I'm gonna confess to you guys. Sometimes it creeps up on me that the whole idea of you know I talked about it in the last video. Am I doing things right? Is this really what I should be doing? Is this the right way? So don't think by in any way that I'm golden, okay? <laughs> that kind of stuff still happens to me, and I don't know if it's going away. I don't really care. What I think that matters most 
is that I can recognize it when it happens. You know, that kind of that self-doubt kind of thing. It, it happens to me. I've been painting for so long, and I am used to pretty much um, have the confidence, you know? I have the confidence of, of what I'm doing, and it still happens to me. Don't feel bad when it happens to you. And not, I'm not saying, oh, it happens to me because I'm so special. Look at me, it happens to me. If, it sure is how it can happen to you. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that if, if, if it happens to me that I'm always looking out to uh, better myself in uh, being more, um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know, practice daily or whatever. Don't feel bad if it happens to you. If, if you, uh, maybe you only paint once a week or... Or even if you paint daily, maybe you don't paint as much as me. You know, and if it, if it happens that you start doubting or you feel bad, or questioning whether you're doing the right thing or whatever, don't feel bad. It's, it's part of it. You're gonna, it's just one of those things that you learn how to handle. And sometimes sometimes uh, it feels like you can't handle it. You know, because it's self-doubt, it's self-talk, it's negative talk. Usually, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, I believe that that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm learning to, to, to understand where that kind of stuff happens, where, where it comes from. And I've come to a conclusion myself in, in my personal life. Maybe this happens to you, I don't know. It happens to an artist. When the artist starts, and I've, and I've talked about it in different ways in other videos. When you have uh, downtime, meaning you're not, you're not on, on your game, whatever that is, okay? I don't know what your game is. I don't know what you're doing daily to, to better yourself as an artist, or if you're just doing it as a hobbyist. Um, if you start, in other words, if you start thinking, right? You start thinking, you start paralyzing. You start paralyzing, you start asking yourself. So you start getting rewarded. Right? Um, it's like people say, oh, I, I'm not a good painter like that. No, you're not a good painter because you don't paint enough. It's not because you're not a good painter. You know what I mean? So you start getting rewarded, so you start doing, doing that thing. That's, that's what I want to talk to you about. You know? You don't get rewarded, therefore you don't want to do it anymore. I mean, who would, right? Come on. Who, who would want to keep doing something that you're not getting rewarded at? But it's a lie. It's a trap. You just don't know that it's a trap. It really is. You're, you're, you're convinced that it's not, that it's uh, something else, maybe. Yeah. If you're an artist, then all of a sudden you're, you're at, a, at a place where where you start asking yourself, well, maybe if I painted like Jose, I mean, look at that guy, how he paints, or, or the speed, or, or, you know, or the paintings look so simple. If I painted like that, maybe I had a better shot. You start, you start psyching yourself out like that, you're at the wrong path. It's really what I'm trying to say. Because we all have something to offer. We all have that eye. We all have that, not just that, I will have a gift, you know, we, we all have something to offer. Never underestimate, and if you do get out of it as, as, as soon as possible, never underestimate your gift. You have something that I don't have. You, you, you have an ability to connect with people or with the artwork, the artwork you create, the way you see, there's something and you need nothing from anyone else. And it's and sometimes it's difficult to, to, to see that. You know. You have that, that thing already. I I can't give it to you. Uh, no guru can give it to you, no no artist can give it to you, no you know, you were born with it. It's yours. You know. It's it's what makes you special. And if you don't um, See, the, the whole thing of not, not being able to create artwork the way you want to, uh, many artists psych themselves out like that. 
the whole thing doesn't come from not being gifted, you know, that quote-unquote quote unquote gifted, everybody tries to use that word. No, the whole thing comes from not being able to um, practice, persevere. So the less you do, the less you get rewarded. So why, why would you want to continue doing it? You know, that's, it's really, that's really what it is. You, you're not getting rewarded, so you don't want to do it. And then you start questioning, should I, should I do this? Or, or um, should I paint uh, in acrylics or oils or, you know? And if you, and if you're not, you don't know where to go, I mean, if you're starting out, I'm not telling you to lock yourself into a style or, or a, uh, a medium, but if you're starting out, I, I understand. You, know, you, want, you need to try different stuff to, you know, to see what works for you. But if you're already doing great, if you're already in progress, you don't need to switch. You don't need to be um, not even switching. You don't need to think that there's something out there that, you know, that magic pill, if you know what I'm talking about. You know, that, that magic pill thing that, oh man, if I, if I only knew how to paint like that, if I only knew there's something you have, trust me, there's something you have that the best, the best artist in the world would love to have, that you have, the way that you use the brush, the way that you mix color, there's something very unique to you, don't ever allow that to the self-doubt to, uh, to stay too long in your mind. I'm telling you because this is the kind of stuff that happens and the stuff that you uh, or that me or any artist has to uh, overcome. This is the reason why I'm saying <laughs> I've experienced it. I continue to experience it. Not as often as, it, as I used to. I used to experience it more often. But Either way, uh, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, that this kind of stuff happens is it's because I've experienced um, that sour path. <laughs> it's, 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 it's sort of like a, like a victimization. It's like a victim mentality. But I know it's a, it's a touchy subject, so I know that it's different for everyone. It's certainly something like that for me when I experience it. I know that, that all of a sudden I start feeling like, oh, man... Why am I doing this? Am I doing it right? Or I see someone else and I go, oh man, if, if I could do that. You know, it doesn't happen often, but, it, but when it does, I can, it, it can usually recognize it after, you know, a day or so. I'm like, oh man, what was I, what was I thinking? Anyways, if it happens to you, don't feel bad. It's part of it. You go back to your magic and you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm magical. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm magical. <laughs> it's so true though. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this, but there's this, everyone who's watching this has something special to offer in their arts. Or if they don't do art or whatever. We all do. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's why... Well, I, I think that the gift of the human being is to inspire one another. I really believe that that's the, that's why we, we, we enjoy things, you know, we enjoy music, we enjoy, you know, and, we, and we don't just enjoy uh, um, recordings or, you know, we do, I mean, but we enjoy being there in the concert and the you know in the, in the being in front of it we enjoy it very much you know it's not the same looking at um i don't know i've seen those those black and white films of monet in the garden right it's not the same to look at it it's still wow you know i'm still like wow 
it's not the same that to be, to have have had the opportunity to be in the garden, watching him paint. Right, that would be a whole different experience. Because I believe that we. That's 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 why we like it. You know, that's why we enjoy being there because we. We appreciate the the inspiration. Anyways, I don't want to get too. I always I always end up getting too philosophical with you guys. I'm sorry. It's my nature. I think that it's the artist in me. <laughs> it's the it's the artist in me always trying to come up with the best way of explaining. Uh, What we what we believe, no? What we experience. Water is so mystical, no? It's automatically. It's uh, I saw a friend who used to say that the fire was so hypnotizing. And every time I see water, especially in movement, right? Or even if it's not in movement, even if it's just you know, like not really like a like a whole movement, and it's just just there, just you know, just being, right? It's so hypnotizing. Like fire. Fire doesn't need to do much for you know, it, it, and we all just kind of gather around it every time there's a even a barbecue. You know, we just kind of gather around the fire. We like it, it just dances. It's just. All right, guys, this is an awesome painting by an awesome artist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can join my my awesome things to say here, my chatter. Well, lately I've been paying a lot of homage to to uh, to Canyon Red. Something is awesome about Canyon Red. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope you, have, you guys have a, a wonderful time. Till next time.